What's up YouTube? This is Power Surge and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you guys part two of making money with YouTube and I wanted to talk a little bit about YouTube Red and I wanted to talk a little bit about advertisements and how different factors affect advertising revenue for a YouTube content creator. Let's first talk about YouTube Red revenue. Obviously, YouTube Red is a subscription that YouTube pushes to its viewers and it's like 10 bucks a month. The viewers get exclusive content like movies and TV shows, as well as advertising free content. And there's also other features that are available through YouTube Red. So they give this service to their viewers and when a person is paying $10 a month for YouTube Red, if they watch your content as a creator, then you're gonna receive a little portion of that YouTube Red revenue. So let's say $10 a month, but they watch an hour of your content. You're gonna get a couple pennies or nickels from that hour that the person who's paying watched because the person is paying YouTube for a premium service and then they're using that service to consume your content. So they're watching your videos. So basically you are the product for the consumer in a way. You you add to the premium service, you add to the value of YouTube that they wanna contribute a little bit of change into your pocket for doing that. Now moving on, you have ad revenue, which has many variables that affect how much ad revenue generates for videos and how much a video can generate. It's seasonal based, a lot of it. Advertising obviously is worth more this time of year, like October, November, as we're wrapping up for the holidays. It's worth more money than say February, after the holidays are over and things kind of slow down. So the time of year will affect how much ad revenue generates for certain videos or content. This is a good time for YouTube creators because we're getting high advertising rates paid for our content. A lot of content creators call it the Christmas bonus. Also, the type of ad that plays on your content is going to affect how much revenue is generated because let's say you have an investing type video and advertisements for investment exchanges or programs that you can trade on, let's say Ameritrade, Scott Trade, uh, Bitcoin exchanges, stuff like that, these different products, those are paying more in advertising than let's say you made a dog video and they're selling some dog food or some type of products for pets. So the advertising for the financial industry is probably going to pay more than the advertising for for the dog food industry, if you get the gist of what I'm saying. I wanted to explain that it's actually not as easy as most people would think. Some think you just make a YouTube channel and you throw videos up here and it's very easy to just get traction and blow up. It does take a lot of work. If you want to make income through advertising on YouTube, you need to dedicate a lot of time to editing, like hours of time to editing. You need to spend money on equipment, lighting, uh, microphones, different things like that. So it's not as easy as it sounds. You also have massive competition. Every day that YouTube exists, terabytes of information and videos are being uploaded. And all these people are also competing for the same little space of attention. But if you have important knowledge to give or you wanna share something, like I totally encourage that. I think it's great for people to have YouTube channels. But if you wanna monetize it, you do have to make videos kind of consistently. And that's a job. So consider it like a plant that you have to water. That's how I think of a YouTube channel, is that just a plant that I water it and it kind of grows slowly. And people appreciate the plant, I hope. Some people talk a lot of trash on the plant. I get the hate too, so you gotta be prepared for hate. But that goes with making any kind of channel and putting yourself out there. But because advertising revenue actually has changed a lot in the last few years, in 2009, 2011, it was a lot of ad revenue paid out to content creators. People like Jenna Marbles, they made a lot of money in the beginning of YouTube. I recall I used to look up videos for my motorized bike that I now have, and there was maybe two videos on all of YouTube, and they had hundreds of thousands of views, but at the time there was not a lot of content on motorized bicycles. So those creators, they had the first chance. And in about 2013, ad revenue really got cut big. They took it from, if you made about $100 a month, you now made 10. They cut the revenue down by about 90%. And this affected a lot of people. Some people I used to watch would say that they thought they could live off their ad revenue. And all of a sudden, their channel got cut and it went from $1,200 a month to like, you know, 40. So they couldn't live off that and they had to kind of change their strategy or their plan. But people now have adapted and advertising revenue still pays a little, but there's value in building an audience. So you can also make revenue through affiliate marketing or different streams. Like if I make a video about Uber, I generally tell people they can sign up by a link 
and use my code to join Uber. That's affiliate marketing. Uber sends me a bonus, and I like to kick some of that bonus back to the driver as well. That's a form of affiliate marketing. You'll also see in the description below, there's a link for this helmet on Amazon if you want to buy it for Halloween, whatever. That helps my channel. That is a form of affiliate marketing. So if you go to click one of the links below from a YouTube video, and that takes you to a product, and then you purchase the product, they share a little bit of the money with the content creator. You can also sell your own products or business. Many people write books, or I know flow artists that design their own props or their own clothing. Whatever it is, you can make products to sell to your viewers to help support your channel. So you have advertising, you have affiliate marketing, you have products, and if you grow an audience large enough, people may ask you and reach out to you to come onto their things. Like let's say they ask you to come speak somewhere. Or I had a friend who made a video about a place in Japan and National Geographic asked for an interview. So that's a really cool thing that his content brought him. It wasn't necessarily direct money in an account, but it was value and it was a really cool experience. And now he gets to say he was interviewed by National Geographic for his video about Japan. It must be very rewarding to have that. And of course, if you're trying to build a YouTube channel, you gotta tell your audience to smash the like button, go ahead and hit subscribe because I make videos all the time. And thank you so much for watching. As always, have a great day at the end of every video. Sorry, but that helps get people attention and it helps them follow your channel for your future work so as always guys for real this time have a great day